Hey, good morning. Welcome to Summer Math Number Four. Summer Math Number Four. So we're doing we're in our that section on Venn diagrams, right? Yeah. And uh, we did some really challenging Venn diagram problems today, and so we're gonna do one that's not quite uh, as complicated for our movie. Yeah. Okay. So 18 people are at a school. Each takes math or physics or both. Yeah. Sounds like some pretty lucky kids, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah. 13 take math. 15 take physics. How many take both? Mm. Ooh. So how, how would you like to start this problem? Well, you could draw a Venn diagram like this. Okay. Maybe, and, maybe you talk, I'll, I'll draw. So. Well, but you can't put 13 in the middle. You can just... Well, it, what, what does this circle represent here? It represents the people who take... He, it represents the people who take math. Math, okay. I'll just call that M. And there's how many of those? There are 13 people taking math. 13 inside of the circle, but we don't know where they're divided. No. Right? Okay. And then in this circle, it's physics, and there's 15. Okay, there's 15. But we know, but 13 plus 15 adds up to 28. Yeah, 13 plus 15 adds up to 28. And what's the problem with that? Well, we have... Eight, we have 18 people at the school. Yeah, there's 18 people at the school, so there must be some people taking both, right? Yeah. So how are we going to figure that out? Well, you could, you, I don't, I don't think you would get the right amount of people, but you could just subtract a random amount from both of them. Okay, you could just subtract a random amount from both of them. What do you want to subtract? Well, you, you could, you could subtract five from each. Okay. Five from here, five from here. That means put a five in the middle? Yeah. And okay. that means there's ten people in this circle. All right. And that means there is... Uh, that means... It's eight people in that circle. Eight. Okay. So the, did that work? Well, we still have 20, 23 people. We still have too many people, so but that's a good idea. Just trying to figure out what was going on. What does that mean? You have to subtract more people or less people? That means you have to subtract more. Okay, how many more do you have to subtract? Well, it, it, I think it's five people. Five people more. So we want to subtract ten. Yeah. Okay. So how many people are here just taking physics all by themselves? There's five, five people. Okay. Those are the people who only take physics. How many people only take math? Three. Three? That is 18. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, so we figured it out just by, by plotting along. The, you could do it. You could do it by math, too. You could do it by math? Okay. How, how do we do it by math? 13 plus 15, which is 28. And then you can see how much more you, you are than what you need, and then subtract 10. Okay. So when I count the 13 people... I count everybody over here, right? Yep. When I count the 15 people, I count everybody here. Yeah. What's the problem with these 10 people? Well, you, you count them twice. Counted them twice, yeah. right? Yeah. So, that's a problem. Yeah. Okay? So, the, the, another math way I could do it is um, I could call this middle part X. Yeah. I know 13 people take math. So what's this part over here? 13 minus X. Yeah. 13 minus X. I know 15 people take physics. Yeah, that's 15 minus X. 15 minus X. So I have to do 13 minus X plus X plus 15 minus X equals, what was it, 18? Yeah. Okay. What's 13 minus x plus x? Well, it's just 13. 13 plus 15 minus x is 18. 18. 28 minus x. 28 minus x is 18. So 28 minus what equals 18? It's mm, 10. Ponder, ponder, ponder. 10. Can you ponder? Mm -hmm. mm. So x equals 10. Okay, just like you found. Good job. Good job. You like these Venn diagrams? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Good job this morning, guys.